What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use gradients in Photoshop. If at any point you found this video helpful then please leave a like down below and consider subscribing for future tutorials. Okay guys, so getting straight into the tutorial today, we're going to want to create a new document. As always, I'm going to be using a resolution of 1920 by 1080 p just because that's what I like to use. Um, so I'm going to click OK here, and I'll get straight into showing you the tool. So if we look on the side here, initially you won't see any gradient tool, or you may not see any gradient tool, you may see it on the screen. If you don't see it, if, you're, if your screen looks like me if your screen looks like mine does right now, what you want to do is go over to the fill bucket and you want to hold your mouse down on that and then drag across and let go on gradient tool. And then you'll see the icon will change to the gradient tool there. So a brief explanation, a gradient tool is basically a tool which allows you to go from one colour to another colour and fade it. Um, that's probably the simplest way I can explain it. So you'll notice that you have got two colours selected down here, in this case it's black and white in your little colour picker section. So they're the two colours which will be used for this gradient. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is create a new layer here. And then if we click and drag anywhere on the canvas with the gradient tool selected to another point on the canvas, this is where it will create the gradient. So if we go all the way from one corner to the other corner, you will see that gradient will start at this corner and go to the second corner and you'll see it starts from the colour the foreground and you'll see it starts from the foreground colour to the background colour if we go from this corner to this corner you'll see it do it'll do it you'll see that it'll do it from that corner to that corner we can also do like really short gradients so if I do it just here in the middle we'll get a really small gradient we could do it here so it's kind of a vertical gradient or a horizontal gradient and you can see it's quite easy to get the different shapes you want. Now, if you want to mess around with the different colours, all you've got to do is click on your colour tools over here and you can choose the colours you want. So let's say we wanted to go for this sort of orangey red. Um, and then we wanted to go for... I don't know, we might just stick with black for this and see how this looks. But then we could do something like this. And you see we get that sort of effect. We could do it off screen. So it actually f completely fades out. We could do it from this very corner to this very corner. So we're not even on the canvas. And then that just means every part of the screen will have a gradient effect on it. Um, or like I said, we could just do a little gradient like that. And have some weird sort of effects going on. Now if you look at the top here, you're going to notice there is actually different types of gradient tools. So we could go for this one, which is the radial tool. And if we click and drag, it will then actually make a circle. And it will use that line you create as the radius so the initial point where you click is going to be the center of the radius so the initial point you click is going to be the center of the circle and the end point you drag out to is going to be the radius for the gradient so if we go all the way to the edge here from just to the right you'll see it should create a full circle on the entire screen um, and it has if we create a little tiny one here you'll see it does a little tiny one um, now let's say we didn't actually want the colours in this order, let's say we wanted the black on the inside and the, the orangey colour on the outside. All we've got to do is click this little arrow tool here and it'll flip the colours as you can see. And then if we drag again, you can see it does the black in the middle. Um, so you can get some pretty cool effects with this quite quickly uh, by using this tool instead of having to manually try and draw it out with like the pen tool or something. And then we'll move on to the next one here so we can see we've got another gradient. But this time it is still a radial gradient but instead of going from the centre to the outside it goes from one part of the circle all the way around until it reaches that same part of the circle and you can see that the point where the gradient starts and ends is where you draw the line so if i draw the line there that's going to be the start and end point if i draw it to the corner start and end point if i do it all the way across the screen like so start and end point and you can see it has just kind of made a color between the two uh you can see it has just kind of made a line between the two gradients but if we do that smaller once again you'll be able to see that it is actually a gradient all the way around. Um, now you will notice as well the size of the line doesn't really matter too much on this one because it'll still extend all the way off the screen. Um, 
so just bear that in mind when using this tool you can make it as long as short as you want I would recommend trying to make it as long as you can just because then you can have a more accurate line so let's say you want to go from the center to the bottom right corner you could do a short line and try and guess it but you can see it is slightly off there but if we just click in the center and go all the way to the edge you can see now it goes directly through the point we want the next gradient tool is another cool one you can see here that it's kind of a double sided gradient so the start color is once again at the starting point that we click and we can let go and choose the distance of the gradient and you'll notice it'll mirror itself so whichever way we choose to do the gradient it will happen in the opposite direction as well and we can get some pretty funky designs with this one obviously once again we can mix up the colors a bit uh, we can choose maybe different colors so let's just go for a random color here like so uh, we can see we instantly get some some weird colors and I'm kind of getting like a vanos -y sort of uh, colors maybe this is how Vanos has made his thumbnails um, but like the background of Vanos's thumbnails somehow sometimes have this sort of a uh, this sort of effect going on um, but you can see this is this is quite effective to get a large like range of colors and a, a much more dynamic background than instead of just having a solid color and the last one we've got on here so you can see this one's kind of more like a diamond um, in the fact it's it's got four points to it still starting with the foreground color as the center point and the radius is determined by the length of the line when we let go It'll make the radius to that co uh, corner to the point and also notice that wherever we draw the line to that's where one of the corners is going to be so if we want a corner on this corner we're going to have a corner on that corner um I'm, I'm just kind of saying corner a lot now but i hope this makes sense um but yeah you can see you can see how it works you can see the different shapes we can get with it so this is pretty much the gradient tool um you just can't have a mess around with it have a play see what colors you like and don't like um and yeah i think it's overall just a pretty fun tool to use and it can have quite a large effect to a lot of basic images. I use this tool quite a lot for my thumbnails on my channel as you may have noticed as the backgrounds always are a gradient. Now one other thing we can do before we end the video is if we go back to the regular gradient over here we can actually click on this drop down menu up here and this has got some color presets so we're going to have a mess around with these presets of colors let's say we want this one and then we'll do a gradient with that you'll see it does a gradient with all of those colors selected so we'll get more of a rainbow effect with this one um so yeah if you do want some more funky colors actually i'd say this looks a bit more like a vanos thumbnail um but yeah if you do want some more funky colors then check out this little area and you can get some more color variations you will notice as well that there's ones with checkered lines that checkered area just means it's transparent so you'll go from one area with color and the next area will be transparent so if i draw something on the background here just using the pen tool so if i have something drawn on the background like this and create a new layer on top of it and then i draw a gradient on top of that you'll see the gradient will go across but we'll still be able to see through to that background um, so let's choose one with a bit more color to it like this one and there we go We can see that adds on now it is additive So that means if you do want to change the direction of the gradient and you draw like this You'll notice it did just fill it in more um, so you will have to actually remove what you've already done before Adding a new gradient effect on or else you'll just end up filling in This is especially true if you do want one of the ones with the transparent areas If you are going to use ones which already have the color selected like this and you draw it on um, It's not going to make too much of a difference But if you do do something like this and then you want to use the transparent tool Make sure you get rid of it first um, Make sure you get rid of the gradient that's already there or you'll end up doing something like this Which doesn't look too pretty um, Actually, I quite like that <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys so thanks for watching hope you did enjoy if you did find this video helpful at any point then please leave a like down below and consider subscribing for future tutorials also comment down below any suggestions for future tutorials you may want to see on the channel but that is gonna be it for this tutorial guys so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video of whatever i mean